G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I've now been doing some further testing with this mechanical televisor. I've, um, I've decided to lower the AC input voltage. I was using my Variac, which is what I'm going to use the very, at the moment to um, vary the motor speed. Um, anyways, I've, I've lowered the... Um, I've set the motor speed to to a few different um sorry i set the voltage to a few different voltages and i found that 200 volts come um, brings the disc up to close enough speed to reproduce um mbtv standard mechanical picture so i'm going to use 200 volts input for now um on testing and um yeah i've um as expected, I'm um, using using a simple braking system, which I've got right here. I can adjust the speed down to good synchronization. I've just done a test with the light out, and yeah, I actually managed to get this motor reasonably synchronized, um, opposed to that other mechanical televisor. I could never keep that one in sync, but with this, I can with just using a simple brake, just a bit of braking, I can keep it reasonably well in sync. Anyways, um, I've got it all pretty much fired up. I'm going to turn it on and turn out the light, and we'll see some pictures. So on goes the motor, and off goes the light. Now, let's go find me brake. <laughs> so here we are. Oh, I don't know if you can see anything, but you can see we're going to have a picture forming very shortly. I've actually put some weights on this set so the wobble won't affect it. Plus, I've tacked the um, the light box to the set. Just for, for just for starters and testing. Now we can see a picture coming up, I, um, but it doesn't show up. Okay, wait a minute. Um, uh, it just doesn't quite show up on camera because the light is a bit dim. Yeah, it's out of synchronisation, but when we break it a bit, we'll. I can't see it, but I can see um, my picture that I've got up there, which is a, I believe a, well, it's a bit hard to recognise, but I believe it's a beer glass. Hmm. Unfortunately, um, I'm not able to, this camera's not sensitive enough to pick up the faint picture, so you can't really see nothing. I can see I can see it for myself however so I'm going to go and keep on experimenting with this so I might see if I can photograph it if possible and um, yeah hopefully I'll get some pictures up on, on camera anyhow my mechanical televisor is actually working this is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out